I've been here 27 years and people who worked here before I did tell me it was discussed before then. So this has been a long time coming. For the parking garage, many people told the story, started uh, studying this thing back uh, over about 30 years ago. And, and over the years, the, the need and necessity became more and more evident. And this board, about two years ago, made the decision to move forward. Uh, this goes back a long way. Uh, I actually started in facilities management with the county in 1984 and we were taking a look and talking about a parking garage back then. Uh, I can't uh, count the number of times that I went through the downtown Bartow area and all of Polk County's parking lots to count the number of spaces and then to see how many people were illegally parked and especially on jury duty day. Uh, to, just to be able to find some place to, to land here and to be able to conduct business in downtown Bartow. Uh, just to give you an idea, the construction schedule on this project, uh, we broke ground on November 18th of last year and the uh, contractor gave us substantial completion on July 28th, uh, just a, a week or so ago. So ju just over eight months to construct what has turned out to be a beautiful parking garage. On any project we have, the first uh, concern is safety. This had some uh, specific challenges with the pedestrian traffic from the surface lots to the courthouse. And I'm happy to say this project was completed uh, and there were no accidents to pedestrians, to workers, or to any of the staff. So thank everyone involved for that. You know, we have, we have um, roughly a thousand people coming in and out of here on pedestrians on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, 459 pieces of precast, 275 ton crane with 200 foot of stick over power lines adjacent to an administration building in front of the courthouse and not one band-aid cut. Obviously we couldn't have done this without a, an excellent job by the contractor. That contractor was Hoare Construction. Uh, Michael Parks, Vice President of the Florida Division is with us today. Greg Brook, the senior superintendent. And John Goodner, the operations manager. I couldn't mention really probably more than 100 county employees had something uh, to do with this garage, but just some that I want to bring special attention to. Uh, this had some unique challenges at the beginning. County Attorney uh, Michael Craig. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Deputy County Manager Bill Beasley oversaw this project for my office. <laughs> Facilities Management Director David Peach. <laughs> and our Senior Project Manager Robert Masiku. Um, they, a lot of people that were involved in this project uh, take great pride to see the, the finished product. Um, from my understanding, this, this, this was an idea that started as far back as uh, uh, 1984, um, which is a long time, you know, uh, for, 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 for a building project. Uh, uh, the design phase and construction took a little, um, a little under two years, which is pretty fast, but it took a lot of time to, uh, in my understanding, to look some time to raise the, the, the funding. Uh, for this project, as well as the, to get everybody to agree to move forward with this project. Uh, a lot of people uh, helped uh, uh, as far as teamwork on this project. Um, some of those uh, include uh, our facility management uh, team. They were a great help as far as helping with the day-to-day -day operations of this project. Uh, the land development uh, team they helped in overseeing um, all the inspections that were going on during the um, uh, excavation as well as the uh, paving of this project. And I'd like to uh, recognize uh, someone especially who has retired during this project, uh, but he was instrumental at the beginning in the design, the procurement phase is Mark Donnell. Thank you for coming, Mark. As I mentioned, uh, we had great cooperation from the city of Bartow. Could not have asked for, for more from the city staff, from the city leadership. Um, our county seat 
uh, is obviously an important part of our history. It's an important part of the county government. The county government is a, makes a large footprint in the city of Bartow. And I know that's uh, good for them sometimes, and maybe sometimes it's a, it's a burden. But we really appreciate the working relationship. This has gone very smoothly, largely due to their cooperation. They've made some uh, specific contributions I'd like to mention. They had many infrastructure improvements they had to make in the early stages of the, of the project. They have been very patient and cooperative in the traffic issues that were created uh, during construction, especially when we were delivering the uh, uh, precast con uh, concrete slabs over several days. So we we uh, worked well with the city of Bartow uh, with their lane closure out. We had flagmen to direct traffic down and back and forth. Um, but to be able to take 16 to 17 loads a day of precast to, to get here took a lot of coordination from everybody involved. They approved the crosswalk uh, that's on the uh, south side uh, of the garage across Church Street, which I think added a lot to the project. And just in the last couple of weeks, they've paved all the streets that are adjacent to the garage. So city commissioners, city manager, thank you very much for your contributions. And at this time, it gives me pleasure to introduce the uh, Vice Mayor Bartow, uh, Commissioner James Clements. Sir. Welcome. This is a great day for Polk County and a great day for Bartow. Uh, as uh, Jim just said, uh, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of cooperation that, uh, that the county and the city staff uh, did to, uh, to make this happen and make it happen in a timely manner. Uh, City of Barto is always happy to uh, to help Big Brother. We had a lot of unforeseen underground utilities that were on this particular site, uh, because of the the close proximity to existing buildings. We have existing services that were going through the middle of this uh, new of this new site. So we had to uh, rely on uh, many team members, uh, including the City of Barto, to ensure that um, those un unforeseen underground uh, utilities were first of all um, identified where they were, uh, made sure that they were rerouted without um, in disrupting the services to the courthouse, the services to the uh, administration building, as well as the core building. We appreciate and we realize the value of having uh, Bartow as the county seat and we'd like to continue that for, for uh, many, many years to come. Uh, the fact that this, uh, these pre-stress beams were made locally uh, right down on Highway 17 south of Barto, I don't know if a lot of you know, but uh, uh, coming to work every day, uh, I'm sure you, you watch the, uh, the assembly. It was like a big jigsaw puzzle being put together. Speaking from a chamber perspective and an economic perspective, um, we are excited to see this parking garage come to make more spaces available um, so that more people can come to Bartow and visit our downtown merchants um, and do business in downtown. And so we're excited about that possibility. Um, it's interesting to note that this week there's no jury duty. Um, a lot of the judges are at a conference and you guys can tell how full this parking lot is and it's not just from us. Um, so I think that this is gonna be very well used and I look forward to the, um, the opportunity to park here myself. So thank you again, Polk County, for, for making this investment for us. It's not only for the county, but it benefits the city as well. This building that we're in has 679 parking spaces. It significantly increases the downtown Bartow area parking by more than 500 parking spaces here. The increased number of handicapped spark parking spaces as well. I mean, over the years, as we have grown and as the court system has grown, there's been an increased number uh, or requirement need for uh, handicapped parking spaces. With this facility, we have increased that and we have handicapped parking spaces in our other lots also. Uh, the facility is a four-story facility. It creates 679 spaces for just a little over $8 million. We put it on the site the county, of course, already owned immediately east of the administration building. As, as the citizens of the county become to do business with the administration building and the agencies that we represent here, 
as well as the, the load of, associated with the, uh, the courthouse, uh, the jurors, uh, the witnesses, all the people associated with the um, judicial system, it became evident that we had to accommodate more parking. And there was a, with surface parking we had just maxed out. So it was, this decision was made to proceed with the garage. Every time we did the survey, it came back to this lot. I mean, w with the number of spaces that we needed, the number of floors that we needed, every time we did it, it came back to this location. And that goes all the way back to the 1980s and we're finally able to get it done. What I'm most proud of is that the contractor that was chosen for this job used a lot of local businesses for the supplies and materials and the laborers uh, to, to build this facility in record time, barely 10 months. And um, it, it's really quite an achievement. Having a precast concrete plant in, in South Bartow, which is a major component of this facility, uh, saved tens of thousands of dollars in, uh, in transportation expenses, used local architect, uh, electricians and others. Uh, it was quite a community project and uh, quite an economic boost. And this will be a legacy project for decades to come for Polk County. My fellow commissioners and I are extremely pleased that most of the work performed to build this facility from the architecture to the final landscaping was contracted with Polk County businesses. As a building guy, as a person that's been involved in construction and was a project manager on the Polk County Administration Building, uh, it's probably most impressive was watching this facility being delivered and being set as precast concrete manufactured here in Bartow by Metromont Services. It goes, beyond, it goes beyond money, that's a true statement. We had roughly, the project was $8 million, $8 million and roughly Five million of it, six million of it, all went back to, to Polk County contractors. Um, the biggest, obviously, being precast, but but it wasn't just about money. It, it actually gave the people who called this area home ownership of the project, and, and because of that, it, they wasn't going to fail. They weren't going to allow us to fail. We weren't going to allow them to fail because they call it home and there's ownership of it. Uh, many of the contractors, like our electrical guy, our precast guy, our air guy, our, our landscaper, all of them can bring this and it's a live mock-up of what they can do for future, for future projects. So it gave the local contractors ownership in the job. Um, the city of Bartow, which I mentioned earlier on, that they were, they were very instrumental in making sure that uh, when we were rerouting the existing underground services, they, uh, they did it efficiently, they did it safely, and they did it on time in order for us to keep the schedule. Uh, we also had um, the contractor, which he played a, a big role in making sure that all the coordination efforts between the subcontractors, the vendors, and the public, um, uh, everybody was on the same page as far as what was happening. And we also had a lot of support from um, our county manager's office that gave us all the tools we needed as well as the support we needed in order to make this project a success. In this case, uh, all of us were uh, pleased to have our names on this plaque in perpetuity, uh, but we also recognize that it took generations to get here and our predecessor boards. And, and that's part of the, uh, the process. Uh, Commissioner Smith will be terming off in just a few months, uh, yet he has his fingerprints on this. Uh, there are those who will follow him that will have to deal with the consequences and they'll have their fingerprints. So it's, it is a uh, uh, generational uh, effort, whether it's a parking garage or a, a sewer plan or a road section, but uh, that, that's the essence of these things because the government spends big dollars and the planning process is extracted and um, uh, it takes a, a lot of cohesion to get from the thought process to the dedication process. It was a pleasure working down here, the whole team. It wasn't just the architect, the facilities maintenance did a great job helping us um, going back to the soils. Every time we put a shovel in the ground, we found something abandoned, but we were able to work through it as a team and never missed a beat. You know, I've had a bird's eye view of the construction. My office is on the fourth floor facing east, so I've been watching out my window for the past eight months. 
So I got to watch it every day. A lot of you didn't, so if you'll gather around here, we'd like to show in about two minutes, eight months of construction.